toolbar. Let's look at our toolbar up here and let's look at all the different um, ways that we can use our cursor here to edit our arrangement. Let's look at an overview really quick. This object selection tool right here lets you highlight when you have this arrow checked and the top one. We'll look at the other ones in a minute. This one has this so you can grab stuff and move it around or you can grab the end of a file and tuck it in. Remember Cubase defaults to non-destructive which means when you tuck this stuff in it's always there you can always untuck it. That does use up some space on your hard drive but it's a good safety thing. Um, if you want to do uh, destructive where you can get rid of all this stuff that you don't see underneath we'll look at that in another tutorial. But this uh, object selection tool lets you do all the basic functions, lets you grab things and move them around, lets you grab volumes and changes, lets you uh, tuck in the ends of the stuff. This right here is the range selection tool. Very handy when we're doing editing. We're going to look at, at editing in another tutorial, copying and pasting and all that. This, for example, if I want to move or copy just a selection, I can grab this object selection tool and grab it. And it's real easy for me to take that one piece and drag it around. This object selection tool, we'll look at it in depth, has some really neat little stuff in it that helps with editing. Next is a scissor or cut tool, which I use um, fairly regularly. We can highlight the scissors, and then we can click and cut our file into separate files wherever we want to. This gives us... Um, different ways to edit. Sometimes we need to cut up the files and copy and paste them and move them. We'll see those in the tutorial on editing. The next one after that is a glue tool which takes several uh, different ones, several different files and glues them together so that you don't accidentally move them around. Let's pretend that these three files were recorded on a different time and and I'm like hey you know I recorded this and then we punched in this and then we punched in that and we, we want it to stay in one place and we want these to stay together a quick and easy way to do it is by grabbing your glue tool and gluing them together it's just making it so that all of these parts will stick together and move together you can always uh, edit it later by double clicking on it opening it in the wave editor which we'll look at it another time you open the audio part editor here, you'll see that it's still on separate uh, files so we can move them around. But this can glue together several different pieces into one so you can keep them from moving around and getting uh, messed up in timing wise. Next we have the eraser tool. Let's undo the glue stuff. We have the eraser tool. We can actually erase different files that we don't want. Um, but be really careful because when you erase them, they're still on your hard drive. But if you try to bring it back in, you might not know exactly where to put it and it might be off time. So be careful because once you erase this and and you close your Nuendo and you don't have any uh, undo options, you won't, you won't know where to put those back. Control Z does a simple undo.